There's gonna be a lot of trash on this island. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that's not sending it into the river. Okay. That's not like that. That worked. It's a great chair. Well, I'm here at the beautiful Nolichucky River in Tennessee. What I'm here to do is take a bunch of people down the river and get rid of as much trash as we can. My hope is that if I can continue to build this up into something bigger, rivers will stay cleaner, there'll be more awareness, but also for my kids and my grandkids, maybe they won't have to go down the rivers with a bunch of trash down the side. Instead, it'll just be the uh, amazing valley that it is. Dane Jackson's involvement was key to getting people to show up on a cold, you know, March day. It made me excited to be running shuttles up and down the river all day to accommodate that. Today it is high water, but that's all right. We're gonna get down there. We're gonna go pick up as much trash out of the river as we can and have a great time doing it. I was really thrilled when Dane got involved. I think really got everybody over the hump to show up, get out there, and make the river cleanup happen. <laughs> I think Dane probably wants to keep uh, rivers in Tennessee kind of cleaner because it's it's his home state, it's where he's from. Uh, he's trying to look after this place and keep it keep it in good shape. Some of the rivers in this area, from what I hear, are getting pretty out of hand. Dude, people left like four tent poles in a fire pit. The biggest thing is families and stuff that want to go swimming. Kids step on glass, kids step on rebar. So it's mostly, more than anything, just dangerous to have that kind of stuff in the river. These rivers, they won't be nice for long if we don't treat them nice. We picked up like over 40 tires, some chairs, roofing, lots of plastic, lots of beer cans, soda cans, and just garbage bags and things like that. I wasn't really sure uh, how much trash we were gonna find with the higher water. I wasn't sure if a lot of it was gonna get washed away, but we still ended up finding rebar, metal. I even paddled a plane of glass on my boat, and we actually ended up finding about 45 tires or so, not to mention tubes, cans, numerous glass bottles, just so much stuff that really had no reason to be in the river. <laughs> It's a lot of fun because we actually ended up with a lot of trash. There was one big hill right across from the uh, top of their campground and it was pretty gnarly, so we spent pretty much most of the day there. Now we ended up with still about three bath full of, of trash and it's some gnar bins, there's shingles, there's cement blocks, there's tires, and pretty much everything you think of. We actually found cans that look like they're probably from the 50s or 60s, so pretty surprising that uh, that stuff's been there for that long, but fired up to get it out of the river.